Hey there, it's Elizabeth and welcome back to another flip through. So we, this is where I left off and we are going through the month of July, 2019. So my son had gotten back from his trip to Chicago. He had a fabulous time and he can't wait to go back. And then here's another flight. So yes, my daughter was traveling to um, her grandparents' house and then they were gonna all ride together up north to Indiana for the family reunion. She looks forward to this trip every single year. And yeah, so she was going on a flight. So we drove her to the airport and then she, well, first she was flying into Atlanta, then she was driving to Indiana and Michigan, and then driving back home from Michigan, catching a flight in Atlanta, and then finally coming home. I don't, I can't remember how long she was gone. A couple weeks? I don't know. I can't remember. But anyway, um, yeah, so woke up early to take BQ to the airport. Big Handsome, of course, was still feeling rough, but he did a great job. Um, her flight was delayed, but then Momo picked her up and yeah, Sunshine went out to the movies with the guys from work and oh yeah, my dad called to tell me that my poor aunt had had a mini stroke and was in the hospital. So I needed to call her to see how she was doing because she's, uh, she's the sole caregiver to my grandma, the grandma that I call every Monday. And so, yeah, so I was worried about my, my poor aunt. Um, this is doily number four here. This was given away. And then my daughter was in Shipshawana. So let's see. Yeah, travel for the day. She was Indiana bound. Um, so yeah, they started off early uh, traveling from Indiana, or I'm sorry, traveling from Atlanta to Indiana. So this day I picked my two paintings from the In Love Art Shop. This is actually stuff that my daughter brought home that I used to decorate the pages um, with. Ship Shawana is like a big, um, I, I've never been there. Maybe I have, I can't remember. But some of you might know what Ship Shawana is. And they have like a lot of Amish people there and a lot of different, um, you know, stores and shops that you can shop at. My daughter just loves it up there. And they do have delicious food. So what else? Um, oh, I had to make a bunch of calls because if you recall, my son needed to get CAT scans done. And then because the hospitals are from two different systems, they were having problems with authorization. It was like just a complete nightmare. So yeah, I was getting on the phone and um, not a happy camper and letting them know that I wasn't a happy camper, <laughs> you know. And he was kind of like freaking out. I'm like, you know, well, not freaking out. He doesn't really freak out, but um, he knew he needed the scan. We knew he needed the scan. And I was like, look here, buddy, uh, you know, I mean, you have cancer. So you're gonna get the scan. Come heck or high water, you're getting the scan. I don't care what needs to be done, so. Anywho, um, my aunt got home from the hospital. I spoke with her, so um, things were going okay in that area. And then, yeah, so on this day, I had a headache started, starting. Not fun. Okay, on this day, this is a, like a flat journaling page. No tucks, pockets, or anything. I do have a tip in, though. My daughter had brought back from her trip. She was still on her trip at this point, but she brought me back a bunch of just, you know, ephemera. So that was fun. This right here, um, Amish Country Kitchen. She just, and her statement was, those Amish know their meats and cheeses. And yes, they do. We all love Amish food here. <laughs> it's just like... To me, it's just like down home cooking. You know what I mean? It is so good. So this is a doily number five that I made that I actually sent to my sweet friend, Susan Hottie Popo. And um, it was, of course I made it for her, but it was also a joke because she absolutely hates pink. And um, so I made her a hot pink one, which she then gave to her Betty. <laughs> So that was funny. And I sent them this one too. So Susan has the rainbow one and uh, Betty has the pink one. So funny. So, um, and these are just super fun to make. And I get them off of Christine's crochets, I believe. So they're super easy to do. Uh, follow along, you know, with her uh, 
whatever they're called, tutorials. <clears throat> Excuse me, there's bread. And so on this day, Big Handsome had a fitting for his bottom teeth all due to his illness. Yes, my husband now over the years, um, he's had to get implants because his teeth have just eroded from the acid. It's uh, another nightmare. Anyway, so my headache was really going crazy. I caught some of Brooke's lives this day. It was Thursday. So she goes live every Thursday at 6 p.m. But my headache was really kicking off. And so I ended up watching TV with Big Handsome. I couldn't even crochet this day. Could not even crochet this day. I must have done this earlier in the day. And then on this day here, I received a uh, my order from Brooke. This is one of Brooke's from Recreation by Brooke. This is one of her beautiful drawings that she puts on her packages. And I just love them. And what I had ordered were these books right here. These illustrated dictionaries. And you've seen them before. Because these, I ordered six of them. There are six in the series. And I ordered all six because um, I am using these for my journals in 2020. So then she also sent me another set of books that I had ordered. Best in children's books. And this was one of the fly leaves or the covers, whatever you call it, not a fly leaf. It was the cover of the, the dust jacket. That's what it's called. So I made this into a little tag. Here's doily number six. Like I was going crazy on the doilies. Um, and yeah, I just made this into, you know, my journaling spot. So I didn't get up till nine. Holy cow, I must've been very tired. We were gonna head to the hideaway. Oh, to get some tools and painting supplies. So I don't, I'm not sure if we were staying down there or not. No, we didn't. Um, we were getting tools and paint supplies because my son was uh, gonna be signing on his new home and we were gonna need tools and paint supplies. So, and they were just, they just happened to be down south. So we went down there to get them, stopped at Michael's for m more crochet thread because I'm into the doilies at this point and just some other errands, yeah. And then watching um, TV with Big Handsome and crocheting. And then, yeah, poor Big Handsome was hurting pretty darn badly. So there's all that. And I just, I always make a pocket out of Brookie's um, beautiful artwork. And then let's see, on this day we went out and about, I do believe, yeah. We went out and about, oh, because my son had to go to um, the hospital to get his CAT scan. So we finally got that whole nightmare straightened out. So we took him up there to get his CAT scan. All went well. And while we were up there, um, we went to Home Depot because he wanted to look at quartz uh, countertops. He wanted to look at sinks uh, and all of that fun stuff. So... Let's see. Yeah, we were up and at them early. And then we went to Hurricane Grill and Wings for a little lunch while we were out. And we forgot to ask for the CD while we were there. Oh, which means you have to order it and it takes 24 hours. And my son had an oncology appointment for Tuesday. And what was this? This was a Saturday. So we were going to have to either get it on Monday or Tuesday. So yeah, that was kind of frustrating. But I worked in my room. I watched Keisha's live sale for a bit. I'll put I'll, I'll put all the links below that I mentioned. You know me. And yeah, so I was just really tired this day. And then my daughter sent me this picture right here. This bracelet is from my son's uh, scan, but it is actually covering up an Amishman because uh, they do not like their pictures taken. And somehow... My uh, my father-in-law got him in the picture, so they went on a buggy ride. It, it happens to be uh, the neighbor of, of a family friend of ours up wherever they were. I think they were still in Indiana. So her neighbors are Amish, so it's not like, you know, like I don't think Amish people like give buggy rides, you know what I'm saying? But because he was the neighbor... <laughs> They all went on an, an Amish buggy ride. And then, yeah. And then my daughter says, Papa made me take this picture. I'm not even kidding. I felt so uncomfortable. <laughs> because Amish do not like their pictures taken. Yeah. 
Yeah, so it was a, a friend of the family, or no, she might be a family member, uh, was Amish, so he took everybody on a buggy ride. And I thought it was hilarious. I'll show you his feet, if you could see that. You probably can't see it, but guess what? He's wearing Crocs. That gave me the biggest laugh. An Amish man wearing Crocs. So at any rate, that was that. And yeah, and then here is my beautiful daughter on the ledge in what is it called? Um, is it the Sears Tower? I don't even know. Up in Chicago. So she and her aunt and some family members took a train ride into Chicago and she went to the bean and she went to the ledge and yeah so this these are pictures that she um sent me she always had and these are pictures she posted to Instagram too so it's so funny like she puts the cutest little um titles on her Instagram things yeah oh it is the Sears Tower <laughs> she's on the ledge that's what she put and then this one here says, been there, done that. So <laughs> she always has the cutest little titles. So she gave me like her ticket stubs and all that. Her This is her ticket to um, for the train. And then here it is for the Sky Deck Ledge. And then this is a beautiful tag that my friend Barbara made me. So that's what I wrote on. And this is a piece of just dyed cheesecloth. I believe I dyed it with just um, spray inks. So let's see, yeah, same old, same old hair. I mean, Big Handsome went off for a haircut, hoping to get some craft time in. Um, yeah, okay, this day I finally got some happy mail ready to send out. Yes, so Beauty Queen was having fun in Chicago, and Big Handsome and I laid by the pool this day, so that was nice. So there's that. And then on this day, oh my gosh, yeah, the crazy train has left the station. First stop, Hobby Lobby, okay? <laughs> and then again with the Tim Holtz snarky statements or whatever, I think they're so hilarious. Your crazy is showing, you might want to tuck that back in. She could see no good reason to act or age, okay? So we're, we're walking to Hobby Lobby in the parking lot, my husband and I. And I, you all know my feelings about Hobby Lobby, okay? But we were there for a reason. I think we were looking for stuff for my son to decorate his home with. And um, so we're walking to, you know, through the parking lot. And we see this woman, like a grown woman, probably in her 30s, I would guess. 30 or four, 30s or 40s, right? She is literally from head to toe in pajamas. Like complete with eye mask, pushed up on her forehead, slippers, and pajamas like I could not I'm, I'm thinking do you not have mirrors in your house did you not look at yourself like what would make a person decide to just literally roll out of bed get in their car and go of all places to Hobby Lobby I don't know I don't know but it was funny so too many monkeys not my circus not my monkeys my monkeys fly <laughs> I just thought it was funny I just thought it was hilarious and then I asked my husband because my husband's the one who noticed her he's like look 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 you know what would possess someone to walk out of their house in their freaking pajamas I don't know but I was like did you get a picture <laughs> he was like no I couldn't believe like by the time it dawned on me to take a picture of her I you know like it was too late you know because I was just so like my jaw had dropped when I when I see this woman walking across the parking lot in slippers and an eye mask. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's enough about that. So we went this day to pick up um to try to pick up my son's CT scan, but it won't be ready till tomorrow. So yikes! Yeah, the next day on Tuesday he had his appointment with the oncologist to go over the CT scan. So we were hoping, you know, like we had to get it before he went to the doctor. Oh my goodness, yeah. So at, at any rate, we went to Hobby Lobby. We did end up getting a nice large painting for um, for my son's new home. So my my our son wasn't with us this day. We just went on our own and found something. We texted him a picture and said, "Hey, how you know how do you like this?" And he agreed. Yes, he liked it. So then. Um, on this day here, we had to go back up to the city to see the oncologist and go over the results of the CT scan, which, praise the Lord, the CT scan was all clear. So that was great news, great news. 
Um, still at this point, didn't know if he would need um, chemotherapy or not. So, yeah. So we just didn't know. Yeah. Um, but we were glad that the that the um, CTs came back clear. So great, great news. I was able to talk to my beauty queen for one and a half hours on the phone and FaceTime. She was up, I believe, in Michigan at this point, maybe. She could have been still in Indiana. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so I was totally exhausted. And then, of course, we had to stop by Chick-fil-A on the way home to get my son a Chick-fil-A sandwich <laughs> on the way home from the oncologist. Here are just the doctor's, um, whatever they're called, business cards. And then, yeah, it's become a thing now. Every time we have to go up north for Sunshine's appointments, we stop at Chick-fil-A. It's a treat since we don't have one near us. It is our pleasure, <laughs> you know, because they always say that. And then this day, maybe I'll stop on, maybe I'll stop on this. I don't know. Um, so proud. So this is my beautiful son, our beautiful son, at his very new home. This is him uh, shaking hands with the realtor. The deal is sealed and he got his keys to his new place. So that was super exciting. My husband went uh, went down with him to sign all the papers and everything. And uh, in the morning, we also went and my husband and I looked at a house for my daughter, but it was a no-go. It was like way too much work. And then let's see. Um, oh, Big Handsome laid by the pool. I, I must have been feeling very potsy this day. So it was just, it was so flipping hot. And when I get dehydrated, it is like a no-go for me. So, yeah, then later on in the in the afternoon is when my husband met, met our son in town to sign the papers and all that kind of stuff. And we're just so proud of him. I mean, you know, he's 21 years old. He's he got his career started and his first home purchase. We're just so, so super proud of him. And then this here is a, it's the front of a card that a girlfriend sent to me. Um, which was very nice and then slow morning here God, uh, this is background is um, a napkin as well as this background is a napkin and then just some you know scraps uh, my husband so my son signed this day the very next day my husband was over at the at the house painting so I took a picture and sent it to my son first wall painted and this is kind of the color of his walls. It's a gray, a dark gray. It looks absolutely beautiful against the white trim and all of that. So yeah, Big Handsome started painting. Um, yeah. And then th I received this sweet little, um, like a, what is it called? I, I received it from my girlfriend that sent me this sweet note. And it was a framed little plaque so it was really sweet yeah very sweet from my girlfriend so that was nice so here's my my daughter's information so yeah she was still she was in Goshen Indiana because they went to the Elkhart County Fair that's like a thing that they do like whenever they're up there and so she was having fun doing that and she saved like I said she saved all this stuff for me so that I could put it in my book um, back over to Sunshines to paint again yeah that was our life these next few weeks was painting <laughs> lots and lots of painting because the house it's a three bedroom two and a half bath two-story house and so it, it's like a condo and so um, yeah a lot of painting being done this was a beautiful another beautiful pocket for my dear friend Barbara she had sent me so what did we do this day we went over and painted some more I found out very quickly that I am not a fan of house painting. No, I am not. <clears throat> Excuse me. This day here was just like, I didn't feel like doing all that much on a page. I found this really nice picture um, that I just liked. It just spoke to me. And then I talked about like our different styles in decor, I guess. You know, my husband's style is a bit more traditional. Sunshine style is a bit more mid-century modern. I like things more I don't know. I'm I'm I I could go either way. Like I like things minimalistic, I guess. Like less is more, but then on the other hand, I love like 
bohemian and lots of color and texture and you know pillows and I don't know so I'm I'm on the fence about my style it's kind of eclectic I guess you could call it so um, then he went to Home Depot I think and he was looking at appliances and countertops and he made an appointment for a countertop estimate um, yeah and I think he's gonna go with black at this time and it's gonna look really nice in his house with um, the gray walls and the white trim so I'll stop here uh, big handsome went up for another appointment to have a gastric emptying test because they're still trying to figure out what the heck is wrong with him at this point um, and then when he I think yeah when he got home oh no that's what it was I while my husband was at the doctor's appointment I had to go over to sunshine's place because sunshine was working so I had to go over there and wait for the furniture delivery the first of two furniture deliveries and so yeah did that um, and then my husband came over to the house afterwards to put up some fans and he was putting up the fan in the living room and it was not going smoothly he was getting so frustrated and he's done it like a million times so I don't know <clears throat> excuse me if there was something wrong with the with the fan itself or what I have no idea and then I did get on Susan and Laura's live stream yeah it's always such a hoot I don't know why they were on on a Monday though Maybe that was Sunday. Usually they're on Sunday, so I don't know what happened. And then this was me all excited and patiently waiting. And these are like little diamond-shaped post-it notes. So I got my diamond paintings from In Love Art. So I was super, super happy looking like that. Because I can't, I couldn't, at this point, I couldn't wait to try them out. And then this is just a layered watercolor flower that I had been practicing with and I got the uh, inspiration from Emma Lefevre on YouTube. So that was fun. Let me check the time. I think I'll just end here. Yeah, this has gone on way long enough. And so I will thank you for your time and thank you for sharing it with me. And I hope you have a great rest of your day and a wonderful rest of your week. And I'll talk to you all real soon. Bye.